This first poem features a mythological figure who is very well known to poets. Narcissus speaks. <laughs> Why mock me with my namesake flower? I have no spring. And long ago, I ceased to love my face, unkissed by sun or anyone. My compelled gaze pinning me close to my ghost twin. I envy the wild flower woman who blesses weeds and keeps her contented face held to the light so that each dawn kisses her mouth with tender grace. Wow. It's all about trying to be a poet and not be an egotist. <laughs> <laughs> to, to just share, you know. Right? <clears throat> and here's an older poem called Spring Again. But sadly, the first line of this poem is no longer true. I write a lot of poems in spring. I want to grow things. My seed is fire. But my heart has no deep roots. So my stems are stunted and my blossoms nipped in the bud. I try to transpose these blighted blooms into words, but they don't last, don't truly live. I'm glad there are real flowers outside me, and that spring is still so beautiful in many places, even inside places. That way, I can get to visit spring in other hearts and sit in the gardens of other people's poems.